Happy Easter, everyone! Hi guys, I just wanted to update you and let you know that I have just finished The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I gave this book a 3.5 star. I thought it was really, really interesting. The first half of the story I felt was a bit slow. It felt more like a treasure hunt than it did a mystery book. Um, I didn't feel as though the mystery was intriguing me enough to make me want to keep reading. So I wasn't loving it. I was enjoying it, but I wasn't loving it. And then the second half of the story really just became so dramatic and mysterious and we got a lot of questions posed we got a lot of answers it was a very exciting and thrilling read and I really enjoyed my time with it for the second half as more than the first half I have to admit uh so 3.5 staff felt appropriate for me because I really enjoyed the second half but because the first half wasn't as amazing I didn't want to give it a higher rating than 3.5 so, um, great time. I did really enjoy it. I felt the characters were very well developed. I felt as though the story progressed fantastically. And I also felt as though it left a lot of scope for book two, because I know the Hawthorne Legacy, which is book two, comes out in September. So it definitely leaves a lot of mysteries for book two to either answer or expand on. Because some of the answers we got were quite vague as well, so... It, it was very good. I'm not someone who likes when all the mysteries are left unsolved because there's going to be a sequel. So I, I was satisfied because we did get a lot of answers. It was just half answers. And I was like, well, that it's something. And I'm very excited about it. So I finished that. Really enjoyed it. I have written a review for it on my Goodreads and on my Instagram. So I do that for a lot of them. Not too many, to be honest, when it comes to Instagram. But on Goodreads, I always write a review. On Instagram, I only tend to write reviews when it's about a book that I have some good opinions on because I feel as though for a lot of books that I enjoy, it's just, I like this and I have nothing else to say. So I don't do an Instagram review for them. Um, but check that out if you want more of my thoughts. Uh, currently, it's Bank Holiday Monday, so it's my last day off work. I'm back in tomorrow. So currently, I'm going to be doing some more reading of Chain of Iron and I'm... I'm not going to finish this. Look how far I'm into it. I'm really not far at all. Um, I'm hoping to get a good chunk done, though. It's 294, which is halfway through the book. And I'm currently on page 100. So I'm going to try and do that today and just get to halfway. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's a nice little goal to set myself. There's no pressure. It's just an aim because I really want to start getting this done now. I've been prioritizing the... Uh, TBR that Brooke set for me because I, you know, I promised her I wouldn't not read the book she set. And I've been really enjoying the reads as well. So I've really put a lot of attention into them. And with this one, I feel as though maybe I'm not rushing to it because I know it's the last Shadowhunters book and there are no more to come after. So I don't feel a sense of urgency because I've been trying this entire time to catch up so I could read this one when it came out. And now that I've caught up, I'm not like rushing to finish. But I am enjoying it. It's it's a whole lot of confusion at the moment. So I'm just going to read this as much as I can. Tomorrow when I'm back in work, I'm going to start with a new audiobook. But Scribd have blocked me now. So I'm using audiobooks from my library and I don't have any from my TBR. So I don't know what I'm going to be reading tomorrow. I have got a few from my library downloaded that are actually currently on my TBR physically anyway. So they're just borrowing. Um... But I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick up. So I will just chat to you at some point and let you know. I'll probably update you tonight to let you know how I did with this. And then I'll update you tomorrow uh, to let you know what I'm reading on my commute to work. See you then. <music>
it's not a simple case of someone will let me and it's fine. I am not allowed in the building without that badge. So I had to come home, bearing in mind that my journey to work takes between an hour and a half and two hours traffic depending, and my journey home takes that. Uh, I spent an hour and a half getting to work, then an hour and a half coming home, and then an hour and a half going back, and then another hour and a half coming home afterwards. But I essentially sat down to start work at 12 o'clock, so I'm not happy. It's been a bad day. I was really annoyed at myself. Uh, it was just a complete accident. I got ready. I had my badge. It's usually always around my neck. I picked it up, put it down on the, uh, on the side while I got everything ready, packed my lunch, and then just completely forgot to pick it back up. So I was really upset. Uh, when I came home the first time, uh, the parcel had arrived and I didn't get a chance to open it because I had to rush back to work. So I'm going to open it here now. I think I know what this is because I ordered it from uh, Depop because my friend was selling it. I'm just going to come back to you in a sec to be honest because I've got to unwrap it. So as I was saying, my friend Jade uh, was selling some books on Depop and I saw them and I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a go. So I bought the A Place Called Perfect Trilogy by Helena Duggan. I don't know why. I'm not really the biggest, like, middle grade person, but she was selling them and I thought, you know what? I do fancy giving them a go. So I bought them and I got them. And I'm not, a bit, I'm not mad about it. I'm excited. I'm excited to read them. Uh, I also started... One of the books in my bag, so I'm not going to hold it up right now. Uh, I also started There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins today. I'm doing this as a buddy read with Chloe. Um, and I've also been listening to the audiobook of Chain of Iron Moor as well. So I'm getting quite a way through that now. Luckily, I am going to finish that soon. So overall, it's been very good in terms of audiobook reading. Because, you know, I've essentially had four and a half hours... Uh, no. Yeah, four and a half hours just getting to work. Uh of listening to an audiobook on nearly three times speed and then another hour getting home in the evening. So I did a lot of audiobook reading, uh, but because of that, not much physical reading to be done, not a lot of work, it's been a stressful day. So I'm just going to chill now, have a nice relaxed evening. It's nine o'clock, so I'm going to be going to bed soon because I'm up early for work. And really, the, the bus journey. Because I did so many bus journeys, I am knackered. I've literally, I feel like I hadn't even worked today. I was gutted. When it was time to leave work, I felt really upset because I thought, I've not even done anything. I feel so annoyed. It just feels so unproductive and such a waste of my day and I'm not happy about it. So I'm just going to chill and relax and rest because that's what I need. But I will chat to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully it will be a better day. See you soon. Buongiorno. Uh, I got some parcel. Yeah, oh, shit. I arrived home to parcel. This is second-hand parcel. This is not from Amazon. Um, Brooke was selling some books, so I went and snuck in and claimed them first and spent all my, my money, but it was worth it. <gasps> They're so pretty. I'm going to show you in one second. I'm having a nosy first. I'm having a nosy look, look, look. So, Brooke was selling the collector's edition of Six of Crows. I've never had Six of Crows before. It's never really been in my mindset. But a few people have mentioned it. And I know it's part of this Grishaverse that is getting an adaptation. So I thought, you know what? I might give it a go. Because it seems a bit lower fantasy than... The high fantasy crap. Um, so it seems like something I will be okay with. It's got a heist, which I kind of find interesting. So uh, I got the collector's edition. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful. I don't know where the collector's edition's from. I don't even know if it is a special collector's edition or if it is just a collector's edition. God knows. But I got it, and I'm so happy about it. I also got... Um, oh, Brooke also sent me a book, The Perfect Girlfriend. 
by Karen Hamilton. I don't remember a single thing about this. I <laughs> Brooke was getting this, or getting rid of this, I think, roughly around about when we first met. And I was like, I'll have it. I will have it. And she kept all of these books in a box in her room to give to me when I was going down, because I was going down, like, well early into uh, last year. I think it was around about August or September. I'm sure I was going just before my birthday. And lockdown happened and that got cancelled and I kept rescheduling like yep I'm coming I'm coming I know I'm coming and it just kept getting cancelled and I was hurt about it and Brooke was hurt about it because that means she had a freaking box full of books so uh she sent me this out I think every time Brooke sends me something she slips in another book uh just to lessen her pile and I feel bad that she has a big pile in her room I feel bad about that uh Oh, there's a note on this one. Hola! I hope you like them and get more use than I did. Yep. Especially this one, because I bought this book for Brooke and she decided to get rid of it. Uh, also, isn't it weird that I'm writing this right now and soon you'll be reading it across the UK. Weird. Lol. You're in Wales. <laughs> but yes, you are across the UK. It must be very strange. Uh, and this is Date Me Bryson Keller. I... In addition to Six of Crows, I also got the collector's edition of Crooked Kingdom. Because she was selling them both, and I thought, well, I'm going to get a good deal. I want them both. So I bought them. Look how stunning they are. Ah, this is stunning. And then I've got The Perfect Girlfriend and Date Me Bryson Keller. So that's added to my TBR. But you know what? Totally worth it. I'll be back in a minute with another all because... I need a minute, and then I'll do the other one, because I got another Okay, book. I'm back. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So, I went a little crazy. I think this is probably about the fifth time you'll have heard me say, I went and bought myself a first paycheck kind of gift. And I spent a lot of monies. I spent a lot of monies. But it's worth it, because the parcel come, and it is... Chain of Gold, Illumicrate, Collector's Edition, to match my Chain of Iron. I spent a bit of money on this. I spent quite a bit of money on this one. But they were selling for like £200, and I was like, well, I can't afford that. And that's really sad. And then this one was um, significantly lower. I'm not having anyone judge me, so I'm not going to tell anyone the price. Some people know the price, but I'm not telling everyone the price. And, uh, and I love the book so much. I'm so excited. I'm honestly so excited. This is stunning. It is going with my collector's edition of Chain of Iron. I can see it staring at me. Ah, I'm so happy. Ah. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that last night I finished Chain of Iron. Uh, let's just say I was not happy. I love the book. Give it five stars. Absolutely fantastic. However, I was listening to it on audiobook, and I didn't know that that was the actual end of the book. Because it said I had two chapters left, so I was not prepared. I'll get you back so in a minute, I'm getting on the bus. Um, I'm going to carry on with what I said. Bus ride. Not an environment to be filming on. Um, <sighs> Chain of Iron, five stars. But I was listening on audiobook. And when I checked, the audiobook said I had three chapters left. So I was like, right, big dramatic cliffhanger, but I've got three chapters. I know it's going to end on a cliffhanger, but at least I might be able to get some sort of resolution. And then the next chapter, which would leave me with only two chapters left, started out by going, epilogue. And I was like, what? No, 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 no. There's three chapters. So we got to the end of the epilogue. Then there was one that was notes on the text, which is basically Cassandra Clare saying uh, the things relating to the historical accuracy of this book uh, is not really historically accurate. I just took some creative license or deal with it. And then it was a short story for the next one. Well, it wasn't for the next one. It was just a short story that I didn't know was included on the audiobook. So I got to the end of the book without realising it was the end of the book, which always hurts a little more than actually getting to the end of the book. Because I expected a little bit of resolution, I expected a little bit more, and then there was just like, haha, no. 
I was not prepared. But today I am continuing with the Someone Inside Your House and I'm going to be starting Lock Every Door by Riley Sager as well. So I'm really excited about that. Hey guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick update. Um, last day in work, woohoo. Uh, but Chloe and I read our pages of There's Someone Inside Your House yesterday and we were so obsessed. It was the wrong place to end. It ended on a big dramatic moment. So we kind of had a discussion and decided to continue and maybe get to the end. It seems like the best option. So that is my plan and priority today. Every time I have a break at work, I'm gonna sit and read this. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get a good chunk done today, maybe even finish. It's a small enough book that I could finish this. So we'll just have to see. Really enjoying Lock Every Door, by the way. Um, as soon as I finish this one inside your house, Lock Every Door is the next priority. Really enjoying my time with that. Both of these stories are really good. This one gets a lot of hate though, and I don't know why. Maybe because it feels more like a romance set within a horror rather than a horror. Um, so I understand if that's what upsets people. But for me personally, even though I was expecting a horror, I'm really enjoying it. It's so good. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to think about rating or anything yet. I'm just going to wait till I get to the end before I make a decision. But I'm having a great time with all of my reads right now. So I'm really happy. So I'll chat to you guys later Hi on. guys, I hope you're okay. It is Saturday, which means it is the final day of the vlog. Um, I wanted to let you know that yesterday I finished There's Someone Inside Your House. I did update you yesterday morning to let you know that that was the plan because Chloe and I were really enjoying our read of it. So we decided to carry on. Um, I managed to get to the end of it yesterday, and I gave it a four star. I thought it was, it was very, it's so confusing, uh, because it's billed as a horror book, it's billed as a thriller. If I was marking it or rating it based on its ability to be thrilling, it would be getting a one star. It is not a horror at all. For a horror book, there's literally no horror. Oh, there is, but it's not about the horror. The, um, it's basically the backdrop, the scene, the setting is in a horror. But the story is not about a horror. It's really weird. It's definitely more of a romance with a horror subplot rather than a horror with a romance subplot. So I understand why it's getting a bit of hate from people. However, I just sat and enjoyed it for what it was. I didn't go in saying, this is a horror, I'm so annoyed it's not a horror, I hate it. I was just like, ah, oh, okay, it's uh, not as horrific as I would have liked, but hey-ho, I'm just going to enjoy it for what it is. And I actually had such a good time. Um, I think Chloe gave it a 3.5 star. I gave it a 4 because when I was looking like through my how I rate books... I really enjoyed it. Like, my four star is, I really enjoyed this book. Yes, there were issues, but overall, my experience was really positive. And that's how I feel about it. It was such a positive experience, regardless of the fact that it probably isn't the best book in the world. Uh, it was probably one of the worst horrors in the world, but it was such a fun reading experience. So, I was really happy with that. I had a good time. I'm glad I read it, glad I finished it, and I'm glad I wasn't so disappointed in it because I expected to be. Uh, I also continued on with my read of Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Currently, I am up to chapter 9, which is page 67, uh, and this is going to be my priority over the weekend. So I will update you, well, it'll probably be next week now, in the next vlog, on how my reading is with this. Uh... I'm not really sure what else I'm planning on reading afterwards. I do have some audio books that are not on my TBR. And I'm just going to listen to them for the for the hell of it. But I do have two Audible subscription things now. Two credits. So I might download one of my TBR books for that. I'll see. I'm not really making any plans until Monday. Because I won't be listening to anything until Monday. 
I'm just going to be focusing on finishing this over the weekend. Today I need to actually edit video or two. Um, chill out. It will all be good. And that's really it. I don't know what's going on outside. I don't know if you can hear that. But if you can, I'm very sorry. Uh, so yeah, that's it from me right now. Um, do I wrap it up here? I'm not going to finish the book, so there's no point in me carrying on. I'm not going to finish today, so I am going to wrap this vlog up here. If there was a chance I'd finish, I would just update you later on, but because I'm not going to finish the book, I just want to wrap up the vlog here and say thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you to all of those that have supported me this week, because... I've asked a lot of some people this week, and it's been great that you guys have uh, been there. You all came through. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been it's been a very good week. In terms of work, it's been one of those stressful weeks. It's been probably the most stressful week in my life. But I'm going to have a nice, chilled week. It's going to be fun. And I got some really good reading done, so I can't complain. Lovely to chat to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop me a comment down below so I know that you've been. If you don't fancy leaving a fully fledged comment or you don't really have anything to say, leave me uh, a padlock emoji for this book. Uh, so just, just so I know that you've been here if you don't really have anything you want to comment. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, like I said. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.